Here at the IDC Coaching School, the first question we get from new students is, how am I going to get hired? And it's pretty understandable. The life coaching industry has been booming for years, and when you're trying to stand out online, it may feel very overwhelming, especially with the way the algorithm has been moving lately and all of the ups and downs when it comes to the platform. Instagram, and although it is the best way, in my opinion, to connect with new clients, may still feel overwhelming when it comes to standing out on the platform. So today, we are going to talk about how to optimize your Instagram bio to not only give you a preference and a foot forward when it comes to standing out in the search engine, but making it super clear who you are, what you do, and what problem you are going to help solve for your client. Hey glow getters, welcome back to the IGC Coaching School channel. If you are new here, my name is VP Bright. I'm the digital marketing manager and one-on-one -on -one coach for the IGC Coaching School. And I'm also a graduate of both our level one and level two ICF accredited programs for coach training. One of my favorite platforms is Instagram. And I have always thrived on this platform. I've been using it for literally decades at this point. But my favorite thing about it is that you have so many different ways to connect with your ideal client. Whether it be through live streams, whether it be through carousel or static posts, whether it be through reels now, being able to use a note to let people know you have a new offer. There's so many ways to connect with your client. But unless you have it super clear on your platform or you already have a big, you know, following when it comes to getting your offer out there and getting clients fairly quickly, starting from an Instagram on scratch can feel very overwhelming. So what we're going to do today is walk you through step by step how to optimize your Instagram profile so that way you stand out to your ideal client and get hired a little bit faster. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe to our channel using the button below and turn on that bell button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos full of tips, strategies, and interviews with all of our Six Figure Certified Coaches. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that your profile picture is super clear. Now, we're here in this space and you're like, this is about search engine optimization and optimizing our bio. What does our picture have to do with that? Well, your picture is going to be the first thing that people see. And as human beings, we are visual creatures. So it is going to be important that it is clear that either your face or your business logo is properly set in your profile picture and you have it branded, beautiful, and Happen essentially. A really, really easy way to ensure this happens is one, getting your headshot that's already professionally done and making sure it aligns with either your brand colors or making sure that it has a brand color in the background. If you haven't had a chance to use the system Canva yet, this is a great way to go into the system, remove the background, and just place a branded color behind it as well. Make sure your face is super clear. And that it's easy to see that you're smiling and inviting in it and it will help people see you from the jump. One of my favorite examples of this is from one of our graduates, Caitlin Anthony, and she's also on our team as well. When you pull up her profile, you see immediately who she is, which she is a certified life coach and business mentor. Um, you can see on the background of her actual profile picture, the pink and orangish colors that she has throughout her entire branding. It's beautiful and ready to go. And it's really easy to create things like this in Canva. All you have to do is go into the platform, remove the background of your actual photo, and then provide a color background to make everything come together nice and easy. The next step is going to be your username and name field. So this is going to be important because this is one, the first thing that people see outside of your profile picture, but it's also a really great way for people to get a hint of what you do. You want to avoid numbers and special characters. You want it to be easy and readable and memorable as well. And you want to include relevant keywords like life coach or business mentor or health and wellness coach, etc. Going back to Caitlin's profile, you can see from the jump that her name is Caitlin Anthony. 
She's a certified life coach and biz mentor. And then you also can see her pronouns there, which are she, her, which is a great feature that Instagram added a few years back. I think it's incredibly inclusive and it lets people know from the jump what your pronouns are and that they should also be having theirs on their profile too, which I think is very handy. And the key thing with this is that this step makes you searchable. If someone searches life coach on Instagram, your name will pop up. If they search business mentor on Instagram, your name will pop up. You want to be able to have that search engine optimization right there in your name and make sure it's easy to find. Once you have your name and keywords figured out, having that first unique value proposition or UVP right at the top in your headline is going to be super important. So you could use words like helping creative entrepreneurs build online businesses with recurring revenue. If we look at Caitlin's example, I love hers a lot. Turn your big goals into bite-sized action. So as a life coach, she quite literally takes a client's big goal and turns it into bite-sized steps so that way the client can reach their goals in a concise and quick manner. As you're writing out your bio as well, get creative and get fun. Think about emojis that you want associated with your brand. Maybe it's sparkles. Maybe it's trees or greenery. Maybe you want to use, I know for me, I have a lot of like, which emojis in mind, right? There's lots of ways that you can have your brand stand out using emojis, and it's a great way to connect with your client and have them remember you for something right off the bat. Now, let's move on to your actual bio. Your bio is prime real estate. You're going to be able to make it very clear what you do and how you solve your, the problem that your client is looking for help with. So what you're going to want to do is include keywords, you're going to want to include a call to action and then your contact information so it's easy to find you. We're going to go back to Caitlin's example here. And you can see on here that she has turn your big goals into big sized action, coach for entrepreneurs struggling a nine to five in life, your BFF for life's messy middle. And then she has the Goal Slayer pod, which is her new podcast that just came out and the link to it in the bio. Some other call to actions you can use at the end of that as well is book a free call with me, join my webinar, download my freebie or ebook, workbook, etc. Anything that you want someone to take immediate action on was going to shine brightly here. And anything that can help you build your email list to get people off the platform and into your community space that you have running in the background to help sell further, it's also going to be prime here. You want people to take action and get into your stratosphere as quickly as possible. And then of course, down below, you're going to have your link in bio. So this is actually really important because Instagram now has the ability to put multiple links in your bio as well, which I think is very handy. It also is great if you don't necessarily want to use a link tree or create a website that has everything there for you. However, what most folks in the coaching industry do is they either set up a Linktree account or use Canva or their website to make a nice link and bio page where all of their most important links are easy to find and easy to access. This is an example of mine that I have for my website as well. And it gives people the immediate option to dive in, go into any of the offers that IGC has and it makes it easy to select any of the offers they see that comes from our page since we are a school anything that they can want to run to and find they can do so in the bio and our most important ones that we have happening let's say for example we have a networking event coming up we have that link right up top that way you can see it and register for the event instagram stories are also a great way to highlight this opportunity to people to get involved as well so let's say in your highlight or call to action you have check out my highlights um or say click about me to start here you can actually direct people to click a specific highlight and dive into you immediately if you have all of your content that you want to be shared there on your profile in a static per permanent place there and ready to dive into things immediately. Some additional tips here. 
You may have seen other profiles from different influencers, coaches, etc., that have their email right in the bio so different brands can reach out to them. If you want to save some space in your bio because you only have so many characters to use to describe who you are, you can use what's called an action button. Now, one, you will need either a creator account or a business account to be able to use action buttons, but this will allow you to either add your phone number, your email, a book button if you have um, a connected scheduler system, or the ability to uh, leads form, etc., which is also very handy as well. This takes all of that additional gunk, essentially, in your bio and frees up characters for you to really get clear to your client who you are, what you do, and what you want them to do. Those action buttons work inside of the Instagram app to either have your client give you a call, text you, um, go to your website, go to a form they need to fill out, or hire you as quickly as possible. You do not want to sleep on these tools, and I definitely recommend you either make your account a creator or business account to access these features. All right, and that is everything. So when you follow these steps and when you take the time to go step by step through it, do yourself a favor and screenshot your Instagram before you make the changes and after. Why? I want to see what you come up with. Take the before and after, shoot me at DVPRite ADM, or you can also DM at Inner Glow Circle, and we will check out your actual bio, give you a little bit of feedback, and see what you did. I would love to see the progress you made from your actual bios, where they were at before, and where they were at now. Remember, Yes, this is your personal account, if you've been using your personal account and building your business from your personal brand, but your business isn't about you, it's about your client and the journey you're taking them on. This bio is to describe the clarity around what they need and what, how they can get it from you and how you can serve them. And if it's not clear on how they can work with you, if it's not clear on what you do, it's going to be a whole lot harder to get hired. If you loved this video, please do not forget to like it. Comment your takeaways below in the comment section and subscribe to our channel. We love doing videos like this that are clear, concise, and straight to the point when it comes to making sure you have all the steps you need to take immediate action. And if you loved this video, please let us know in the comment section below as well. If you need any more additional help from me, you can book a free consultation with me at www.innerglowcircle.com slash vp right. And I would love to chat with you and figure out what the best solution is when it comes to all of your digital marketing and branding needs to help you stand out and get hired to your clients. Have a beautiful day, y'all, and we will see you in the next video.